Please read important safety information before watching this video. After the acquisition batch is created, the samples are ready to submit for analysis. Open the pre-saved acquisition batch, then select the Submit tab of the Batch Editor window. All the samples listed in the Sample tab show in the submission list. The order to submit samples can be changed here by selecting the specific row and dragging it to the desired location. This is the only place where sample order in a batch can be adjusted. We can submit the whole batch by simply clicking the Submit button. To only submit selected samples for analysis, highlight the desired samples in the batch and click the Submit button. In the pop-up acquisition dialog box, choose Acquire Data for Selected Samples option. In Analyst, to equilibrate the system or submit samples for analysis, the sample queue must be opened. The sample queue not only monitors the instrument status and the real-time sample analysis status, but also records the sample submission and analysis history. To launch the sample queue, click on the Queue Shortcut button or choose Sample Queue from the View menu. In the Queue Manager window, you can find the instrument and sample status, as well as the sample submission list. Detailed sample submission and analysis information can be observed here, including start time, sample name, plate and vial number, status, method and batch used, data file, and project folder. When a batch of samples have been submitted to the sample queue, they are shown in the sample list of the queue manager window with the status waiting. This is because the queue by default is stopped until you manually start it. When the system queue server shows ready, you can start the queue by clicking the Start Sample Shortcut button or selecting Start Sample from the Acquire menu. If you get an instrument is in the tuning mode error when attempting to start the queue, unclick the T button to remove the instrument from the tuning mode and then click on the Start Sample button again. At this time, the system status turns from ready to pre-run for sample injection, and then to acquiring as it begins acquisitions of the samples. The sample acquiring progress bar shows the real-time analysis status of the current sample. The sample status in the queue also changes from waiting to acquiring. After the sample is finished, the system will automatically start the sample analysis of the next sample in the queue. After the instrument finishes analyzing all the samples in the queue, the system will stay in the ready status first. Then it will turn to the standby status after a preset waiting period. This period is determined by the max idle time setting, which can be adjusted in the queue option window under settings in the config mode in Analyst.